All right, we all know how spirited Maple Leaf fans can be when they're watching their team. And as the Blue and White kick off their new campaign tonight in Montreal, we're going to preview the season with one person who absolutely, positively, never, ever, ever gets worked up during a Leafs game. That's called sarcasm. Uh, introducing podcaster and author of Hockey Rants and Raves, the one and only Steve Dangle. Hello. Yeah, hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is the most calm I've seen you, Steve. Yeah, I'm not. People are, are usually surprised to discover I'm not uh, screaming about them losing to a 42-year-old Zamboni driver all, all the time. Or if you saw the new Amazon documentary, yeah. wielding a hammer <laughs> in, in the one clip that I'm in. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. There is some calm. There is some zen. Yes. Um, if you were to describe how you feel today mm -hmm. going into this season, g give me an analogy of where you're feeling, how you're feeling. Uh, so uh, imagine you're at the X mm. or you're at Canada's Wonderland. Great. Worst part of any ride? Yes. The line. It's the most <laughs> terrifying part of any ride for me because I'm standing there, I'm looking up at this giant thing mm -hmm. that is about to toss me around like a rag doll. And once I'm on the way up, that's not the scary part for me. I'm like, Haha, I'm, <laughs> I'm stupid already here. and this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm already here. And that's how I feel going into every season. Like, I, 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 get, the, I get those jitters. I get nervous. Mm -hmm. Game two, three, four, that, those are easy. G game one is always a challenge. This is the big one. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about the season itself. There are some changes, but, you know, core four is still same, same. Mm -hmm. I want to begin, number one, with what's happening between the pipes, as mm -hmm. they say, as your, or as your folks would say, um, some changes here which fans should keep an eye on. Yes, so the bad news last year was fans had no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. Like, Ilya Samsonov was a quality goalie from January through the beginning of April. As soon as the playoffs began, he was awful. The mm -hmm. three months before January, he was awful. Um, so what, what goalie are you getting? The good news is this year, you actually sort of have the same problem. <laughs> because, <laughs> okay, good. Because J Joseph Wall, who was excellent in the playoffs yes. last year, it appears he may be injured to start the season. Here's, here's what's good. They got Anthony Solers, who was the backup goalie for the Florida Panthers. Okay. He won the Stanley Cup and had the highest save percentage in the NHL last year. So, And he's six, five, six, seven, whatever he is. He's a very tall goalie every time he stands on the ice. He had a really good preseason, mm -hmm. and they have called up a rookie named Dennis Hildeby, the Hilde Beast. Is that what they call him? Yes, they okay. do. Um, he won a, a title in Sweden already. He's also six foot seven. Like you, you, there's like a height requirement to be a goalie <laughs> on the Leafs. All of a sudden, I don't know when that. It's gotta happened. be over six five now. Yeah. Yeah. So even though Wool was really dependable in the yeah. playoffs, and it's worrying that oh he might be starting on shaky footing, they're okay. There, there are okay. plenty of other things to worry about. And that's I don't think this it. is one of them. No. Um, Craig Berube, under his leadership, what do you anticipate the team is going to see different? Um, I don't mm. think uh, I don't think they have a coach who's going to tolerate their nonsense. Mm. Uh, you got to remember the context of this team. Mike Babcock, when he was the head coach, he was bad cop the, mm. the yeah. whole time. Um, Sheldon Keefe came in, and he had to be sunshine and rainbows and remind these guys why they like the sport and why they like hockey. And hockey's fun. But at some point, he had to turn into bad cop, and that routine just didn't work. Right. It's, we know who you are. We know what you were hired to be. Don't yell at us. Uh, if you watch all the behind-the-scenes docs that was done about this team, he begged them to drive the net. He begged them to go to the dirty areas where they would score, and he couldn't make them do it. Barubi is not a guy you say no to. Okay. Uh, 2019 Stanley Cup champion, and he had some very, very good regular season teams in St. Louis as well. I think they'll have no choice but to listen to Craig Barubi, and, and the way they've managed the salary cap this year should give them a little more power as well. Uh, when you look at the captaincy, you hand it over now to Austin Matthews. You think that's going to make much of a difference, at least in the locker room, on the ice? You know, how do you feel that dynamic's going to change? I mean, it's always felt like Austin's mm -hmm. team. I mean, the, the moment he scored 60 goals, it felt like his team, and that was three years ago. Then yeah. he did it again. Yeah. Um, uh, here's, here's the big problem. So, so what's going viral right now is this clip of Connor McDavid screaming at the Edmonton Oilers, dig in right now. Yeah. And then after that, they won nearly every game. Uh, with the Leafs, if you watch the behind the scenes documentary uh, about their game seven against Boston, there is a voice uh, speaking up, trying to rally the troops. And mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was Ryan Reeves who wasn't even playing in that game. So uh, you don't have to have a vocal leader, but 
it wouldn't kill them. And I hope Matthews is able to bring his personality yeah. to the role and not just the ability to score goals. Sure, even when you see him in news conference, even even when it was you know announced that he's now the new captain, he had about two sentences to say. He mm -hmm. was pretty quiet. That's kind of him. But let's see how this goes. We need to talk about what's in front of you right now because yes. hockey is life. Mm -hmm. for Steve Dangle, um, and so is this new book, Hockey Rants and Raves. Tell yes. us a little bit about this. Well, it's ranting and raving. It, it, <laughs> All it, it the is, stuff. I, 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 uh, I method acted, I method wrote uh, <laughs> this book. I wrote a lot of it in bars and stuff, yeah. a lot of it in Durham region. And it's basically, it, in Canada, you can walk in any bar and any group of people is having the same discussion. You know, Wayne Gretzky or Gordie <laughs> Howe or Mario Lemieux or... or, or uh, who, Bobby Trace of Orr. all time. What's the yeah, yeah. yeah? Bobby Orr, especially if you're in Oshawa, where I live for nine years. Yeah. Um, who's on your goalie Mount Rushmore? <laughs> um, if you put so and so in a time machine, how would they perform? So the, it's it's a bunch of different um, mini essays mm -hmm. on different hockey topics, and it's not necessarily me going here's the beginning, middle, and end of it. Although I do put my foot down a few times, it's about having a good time talking about hockey with your friends, with your family, and how to do that in a way that's not political. It's right. not It's not the old talking down to the young. It's not the young talking down to the old. It's let's get together and talk some puck. Beautiful. Um, if you want to talk some puck and you want to pick up the book, I have to say that slowly so I don't say any bad words in the mix. I know, uh, right? Available yeah. October 15th. Your new book, Steve Dangle. As always, appreciate it. Go Leafs go. I'm wearing my blue. That's You said it the perfect way. Go Leafs go? Yeah, question mark? Question mark? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, Steve.